Hello and welcome to the Alconbury Weald Residence Forum for May 2023. My name is Natalie and I'm your Community Development Lead and I'll be taking you through a community and development update. Thank you to everyone who came down for the coronation celebrations on the other Sunday. Um, fantastic event, really well done to the Community Association. It was um, really was their first big event that they've done on their own um, and just big well done to them. Back in April we had the tennis activation. Um, which was actually led by a resident um, who wanted to play tennis, wanted to find out, uh, to find other people to play tennis with. Uh, so we had Huntingdon Tennis Club come down, run a few sessions, and I think we've got enough people now to make a bit of a, a group. If it's something that you're interested in, uh, just get in touch with me and I'll pass on your details. From the 21st of May, Bohemia will be doing uh, barbecues on Watch Office Green, uh, so sign up on their website and or go pop in and have a chat with them to sign up for those. The next community association meeting is the 7th of June. Everyone is welcome. Uh, they always have an attendance from Encore to talk about um, any issues on site. So everyone is welcome to come in and chip in for that. Um, and they also then organise events like the coronation. Um, and the next event is the Open Gardens on the 4th of um, June. So if anyone, uh, if you want to come and support them, go and have a look around your neighbour's gardens and see what um, you could do with yours. Looking for a bit of inspiration. The New Tuesday Club, um, not so new now, so they've been running now for about two months. Um, they meet every Tuesday at half past one in the pavilion. Everyone is welcome. Um, it's, for, it's an adults um, club. Uh, this month, they've, their guest speaker was Magpass, the Air Ambulance. They came down and did a CPR session. And there'll be more guest speakers coming through um, as they go forward. Look on Facebook for more details. The Community Library is available uh, Monday to Friday, nine till five. Um, that's held in the, in the downstairs of the club on the boulevard. Um, on the second Friday of every month, uh, there is a coffee morning at 11 o'clock. And then every week, there is either a rhyme time session, which is toddler singing, or story fun um, happens at 10 o'clock in the club. So you can just come down, it's a free session, um, and take part uh, for under fours. The area is also available um, to work from as well. There's free Wi-Fi and you can come down and just get, if you just needed to get out the house for a little bit, um, everybody is welcome. It was so lovely to see so many people coming down to the Oxford Archaeology Show and Tell sessions in April. Um, fantastic to be able to share all that with people. Um, over 100 people came down in their wellies to find out how a dig site operates and see some of the later Roman artefacts discovered so far. This included coins, um, some metalwork, a tiny bead made from, from a fossil that is thought to have been used as a necklace or a bracelet, pottery that was in good condition, which suggests it would not move far from when it, where it was used. Previous archaeological excavations have revealed that Al Alconbury Weald has been home for many people through the millennia, from evidence of prehistoric settlement and Iron Age roundhouses, through to Roman artefacts and medieval ruin remains. The latest finds, which will be on display at the Alconbury Wheels Heritage Open Day on the 9th of September, have added another piece of the jigsaw of the site's past. It was great to be able to, have, to give residents a brief glimpse into what life would have been like here over 2,000 years ago. Um, the children were fascinated by the dig site and what we have found so far, with some budding young ar archaeologists asking lots of questions about what is involved before, during and after a dig. Phase one of Alconbury Wheels is progressing well, and the coloured areas on the map indicate housing parcels in phase one. Uh, section C in red, as can be Buchanan and George, are bringing forward 62 homes and have welcomed their first residents. Section, section H in green, Barrett Homes, will be bringing forward 260 homes and the sales suites are, we expect to open in the summer. Section K in orange, Morris are delivering a further 206 homes and their, their new sales um, suite is now open. Section G, um, the parcel is being delivered slightly differently to other parcels as it's bringing forward some diversity of house tenure on the development. The homes will provide options for people not in position to buy right now or who choose to rent, but who, who can then rent with a greater certainty and a new, new property where they can settle and make their home. They will be market level rented properties and will be working with Lovells to deliver their, the homes. There will be a partner coming on board as the development progresses to market those homes and also provide ongoing support and maintenance to tenants. As many of you know, we've put in place a temporary pump station in the area behind Swinford Park. 
This is to help address an issue which has risen off-site in the older infrastructure that the original approach connected to. We have developed a solution to create a new connection directly into the new infrastructure installed that will then go directly on all new infrastructure down to the treatment works in Huntingdon. And this is being finalised at the moment with Anglian Water and other partners with the aim of installing this over the summer. This means that the temporary pump station will need to be running where it, running where it is with the temporary pipe connections for the next few months. The team have put in place a rigorous monitoring system around the temporary solution and will continue to ensure it is working effectively and not causing any disruption. The permanent solution should ensure this can be removed by the early autumn. Magpass Air Ambulance purchased land from Urban and Civic in March 2018 and got planning in September 2021 to relocate their headquarters closer to the region's major trunk roads, which will reduce vehicle dispatch times by up to 15 minutes. The tar charity joins a growing community of over 500 people working at businesses within the enterprise owner Alconbury Weald and is due to open in 2024. We're pleased to see the new community facilities in the Glade taking shape which will sit in the heart of the first phase of the development and includes the co-op convenience store, a public square area for pop-up events and seasonal markets and new areas of landscaping and cycle hub. The co-op is due to open its doors in the summer. Work has started on the special needs school, Presley Wood Academy, with the aspiration it will open in September 2024. Discussions are ongoing between the County Council, Urban and Civic and the Department for Education alongside the design and build team to finalise the timings for the secondary school and the phase of the delivery of the wider education campus to be open at the right time. The school needs a minimum number of students before it can open and all partners are working closely to finalise a programme which will be shared with the community as soon as it is confirmed. As you may know, we are progressing the design and delivery of the next phases of Alconbury Weald and will be able to update residents on timings as they progress through planning. Critically, some of the next consultation and engagement you will see will be on the Country Park, which will be the next piece of strategic green space coming forward. More detailed update will be coming through, the, through doors shortly in our next newsletter, but the team are always happy to come and talk about the future timings and more consultations will come forward as the de detailed design come forward within the wider planning framework. There are a range of jobs within companies at the Enterprise campus and the team are working with companies to promote them to residents. If there are any careers or opportunities you are interested in finding out more about within the development, then please do let us know. There are lots of ways to stay in touch. The Warbler comes through your door every single month, um, which is obviously a snapshot of what's happening for the next month. Uh, Make News, a much, more, uh, much larger publication, comes through once a quarter and the next one's due in the not too distant future. And there's also um, updates on the Facebook page and on our Instagram and Twitter page. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you do have any questions, please do feel free to email me. Email is always the best way to get hold of me. And do have a lovely day.